Nitian guys, welcome back to yet another video. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityan the Paramashivam. Today's video, I wanted to uh, share an, a very powerful understanding that I got and I experienced many times uh, since I have been with Swamiji as a disciple, as a Brahmachari and all that. Um, and that is the, one of, the, it's basically part of the Guru Disciple series. And why do we need the Guru? And one important thing is we need to be guided until the awakening of the Kundalini happens fully and we are fully established into it. So what I've seen, experienced and realized is basically that Swamiji can give us the awakening, Kundalini awakening experience, which is one of the reasons why he's an avatar, because being able to bestow that experience just like that is only an avatar of Paramashiva, of super consciousness, which can, um, which can allow that experience to manifest just like that. But for us, the main challenge is to remain established in it, to strengthen, to have the right powerful cognitions and the strong nervous system to be able to, con to re-establish ourselves in that space and have that Kundalini awakening happening permanently within us. So, um, so what, I re what I realized and experienced is that initially we might not be able to fully establish ourselves in that experience. So there's a kind of a training process where you kind of build your uh, nervous system and uh, building nervous system happens through many things. Uh, puja, yoga, morning routine is one of the main components of it. And the second thing is uh, having the right powerful cognitions, being constantly established in the right powerful cognitions so that we can remain powerful all the time and allow that flow to uh, remain unstopped. But what happens initially, it's sometimes our nervous system is not strong enough or we don't have, we're not cherishing the right cognitions and we dampen, we, uh, we, we dam or we reduce the flow of the Kundalini back to a previous state, maybe not the previous state, but a lesser state, I would say. And when that happens is the thing is that Kundalini is like an intense flood of energy. It doesn't have any directions. It's just gushing energy. That's what it is. So for that gushing energy has to happen in the right direction. Because if at some point that gushing energy goes into a life negative thought current, for instance, if we establish ourselves in a life negative cognition and we have this gush of kundalini happening then that kundalini will go there and that will just make that life negative cognition manifest stronger in our life which is very much uh, not good it's very much unfortunate so when you are under the guidance of the guru not only or a guidance of swamji i should say because not every guru can give that experience in the first place but when you are under the guidance of swamiji not only he gives you that experience he shares the powerful cognitions he trains you but he makes sure that you remain aligned to a life positive cognition and he makes sure that you understand whenever you are aligned to a life negative cognition he makes sure you understand it and realigns you to the thing and that is why manifesting shaktis is so uh, is a nice it's like the most amazing spiritual practice i mean i know practice is a four letter word but that's the only word that i can see uh, right now and um because shaktis they only manifest when we are in the right space, when you're in the space of oneness. They're not Siddhis. Siddhis are powers which manifest through intense penance or intense hard, in hard work, um, through a certain sadhana, a spiritual practice, and they manifest all the time after that. But the problem with that is that they strengthen the ego because they manifest all the time. Whether you're in the right space or wrong space, they keep manifesting, which is a problem. Whereas Shaktis, they don't manifest when you're in the wrong space. So that's, that's very beneficial because the Shakti alone is not really the purpose, even though it, 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 is, a, it is a way to go towards the, that ultimate goal. So Shakti is because they only manifest in the space of oneness, in the space of life positive cognitions, then, uh, then you can never go wrong. So constantly planning to manifest Shaktis in your life is the way to go because you can only manifest them when you're in the right space. So the more you manifest them, that means the more you are in the right space. And like that, you move towards establishing yourself in that ultimate space. So that is one of the main important thing of the Guru because Kundalini awakening is not enough. Uh, Kundalini awakening is not enough. We need to be guided and we need to successfully fully establish, re-establish ourselves in that space of the self, in that space of Paramashivoham. And for that, the guidance until the last, uh, the last pattern is burnt uh, is required. Guidance from the Guru is required. 
and as it goes, you know, gratitude overflows along because the more we are guided and and aligning to that ultimate space, then the more we feel grateful towards the Guru. And this very beautiful relationship happens where we experience gratefulness towards life, towards Master, towards ourselves, and we realize the higher spiritual truths that Paramashiva is revealing in the Vedas and Agamas. So that's what I wanted to share in this video with you guys. Um, yesterday I started, I'm gonna do a video, I'm, I'm hoping to produce a video a day on the Nityananda Nyana Paradi, uh, which is the manual compiled by Swamiji about para manifestation from verses from the Vedas and Agamas, uh, Vijnana Bhairava Tantra and other like that, other scriptures, uh, sacred Hindu scriptures. So yesterday I released the introduction. Um, today I'm, I'm looking to release the second verse. So like that every day, you know, instead of Sonji said we have to go through the book. So I thought, you know, might as well as I go through it, might as well move, uh, make a video and uh, make everybody who is watching these videos uh, go along this book, uh, go with this book along with me. So yes, so that's going to happen. So look forward to that. I'm going to make a playlist also on this channel where each verse will be there one on one. So anybody can start at any point in time and just experience the whole volume one of the Nityananda Nyana Padadi. So with this, I again thank you for watching this video. I'm very grateful for your views, for your support, for your comments. I'm looking forward um, to hear more from you. If you have any question, comment below. Like, subscribe, don't forget, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Nityananda. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes.